couple of hauls, a few fun chats, just sit back and relax. Online yarn sales and happy mail. Kitty cats, this and that. It's Pooh Bear's precious pumpkin patch. Welcome here. Hi guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear 253, and welcome to Pooh Bear's Precious Pumpkin Patch Living Room. And I'm here with a special, special guest, the masked android man. And he says, call him Mr. H. And we are here to do our pick ones. And don't fret my pets, I am very sorry about not announcing the winner yesterday, but we will be announcing it right after we are finished with the pick ones for today. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's too late. <laughs> so I have seven people that entered into the giveaway and I have the names written and everything. I have the prize over here ready to roll and I'll be cutting the numbers up, folding them, on camera and putting them in the bottle um, so you guys can see, shaking them up, and this guy right here is gonna be picking out the winner. But first, oh my goodness, who do we have here in mommy's arms? One of my sweet, sweet babies, a very special, special baby, because he was created over at Kimberly's Cocoon very very special baby this is my sweet little elijah cole and he is the knox scope by laura lee eagle and he is our halloween baby of the week even though i cheated and got him dressed i got him dressed last weekend but he still has to have his week with mommy in the bedroom so he is rocking some super cute Peanuts pajamas. They have Snoopy on there. They're orange and black. And Snoopy has a little bag that says trick or treat, a little green bag. And Woodstock is a little vampire popping out of the jack-o'-lantern. And the arms and the back and the pants are black with purple bats little orange jack-o'-lanterns and little white stars all over it. and where the arms and feet come out it's just a little orange little cuffs there so mwah. there he is looking super cute he is our Halloween baby for the week and after we finish with this video we gotta take our Halloween decorations down from upstairs and put them out yeah yeah oh, I think you're gonna wait for your husband to get home for that now well, you're here now, so you can help me out, right? I don't want to go up in your attic. I don't know what's up there. You you can figure it out. I think you got it. I don't know where you store stuff. It's up there. It's labeled Halloween. You can find it for me. We'll see. We'll see. I, mean, I got to get out of the house before he gets home. I hate for you to get caught with another man in the house. But I'm just hiding out here for now. Okay. Well, why are you here? Well, you know, I was here... heard it here he was here all right let's get started first one was mohawk a man bun for me um, I don't too much care for anyone like on a guy you know I kind of like a short clean cut kind of hairstyle type of deal but you know our woolly mammoth you know <laughs> but I prefer the clean cut but his hair grows so fast he, it, it just would be so hard to keep it trim and, and all that good stuff. Um, so I chose Mohawk only because I do kind of do like little faux hawks for my babies. As you can see, he kind of has like a little hawk going on on top of his head. It's just kind of a little messy hawk. Though 
So, but I do like to kind of style my baby's hair like that. So, I chose Mohawk. Alrighty. Let's get a comment, honey buns. Comment comes from Mary O. I especially love a faux hawk, so I voted Mohawk. All right, thank you, Mary O. And the winner was 56% man bun. So you ladies out there like a man bun. <laughs> All right, the next one was green tea or herbal tea. Um, I only drink tea when I am coming down with illness. I have a kombucha, green tea, and a throat coat. So I'm guessing the throat coat is kind of a herbal tea. So um, I'm not really certain, but I do prefer the taste of the green tea better. I put a dab of honey in there, a pack of my, um, what's that sugar stuff I use? Stevia. Stevia, I put a pack of the Stevia in there, a peppermint and a cough drop. Um, and they're the Ricolas, the lemon ones are the best ones. Ricola. Yes, and heat my water, put my tea bag in there, pour it over there, stir it, stir it, stir it, and that helps with my throat. So, because I like the taste of the green tea better, I went for green tea. Comment us, baby. Our comment comes from Tomina's Little Angels Nursery says love green tea it has a calming effect on me after a tiring day mm. thank you Tomina for your contribution and the winner was green tea with 66 percent all right next was shakes or malts I've never had a malt and hubby has had one he said it was nasty and he described it to me as the you know those little moth moth balls the little chocolate things with the little whoppers wh oh whoppers yeah that uh, moth now, balls <laughs> now, now this preface is the last time i had a malt i was probably about eight and this was you know late 80s so maybe they've changed so i don't know but i've never had one but i do know that i hate whoppers so not whopper the hamburger but whoppers those chocolate covered candies i hate those they're so nasty so if it tastes anything like that, no. So I definitely go with a shake. That would be <laughs> that would be my option. All right, read us a comment, hun. Comment comes from Cedric Holbert. Milkshakes. They bring all the boys to the yard, you know. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah, right. It's better than yours. Darn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Anyway. Indeed. <laughs> and overwhelming winner, the overwhelming result was shakes with 94%. So you guys like to milkshake as well. All right, next was hamburgers or hot dogs. This one's easy for me. Out of the choice, like if it would have been hamburger and pizza, oh, pizza for sure. But since it was hamburger and hot dog, I'll, like, only time I eat a hot dog is if I cook it myself. Like, going out, only place that I know that sells hot dogs is Sonic and we don't fool with them no more. Um, Wiener Schnitzel. We don't have a Wiener Schnitzel. We, do have a Wiener we, we Well, we have Wiener Schnitzel. But I'm not, I, I can't pay for a hot dog. Like, it's like, it's, it's something that's so cheap. Like, I can't go and pay $3 for a hot dog. I just can't do that. You know, now a nice juicy burger with cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, jalapeno, whatever. You know, stacked up real good. Yeah, I could pay for that. You know what I'm saying? But I can make a hot dog. Hot dogs are just too easy. I can't go out and pay for a hot dog. I can't do it. I just cannot do it. I have never ordered a hot dog at a restaurant, like a fast food restaurant. He has ordered like those conies when we used to eat um sonic but sonic got x long time ago um but yeah yeah that's my reason for it like i could eat a hot dog but like i said other places like i like to get the turkey dogs and like some people be using like them little cheap weenie dogs you know something i have paid for a hot dog before but usually my mom paid for it when i was a little girl and we went to church 
our church where I grew up was called King Solomon Baptist Church. And after church service, they had hot dogs for the kids. Well, for anybody, if you wanted some lunch or something, you was hungry after church, you wanted a snack, they had hot dogs, chips, and they sold uh, Deacon, um, what was his name? Oh, I can't think of it. I'm going way off on the tangent. But anyway, but he used to make these tea cakes, y'all. I know that man. He has been. What are you talking about, Bro Gerald? Yeah, Bro Gerald. Yes. Cedric, how you remember? Because you brag about Bro Gerald's tea cakes and all that oh, stuff. Oh, Bro Gerald tea cakes was the bomb.com. Once you said tea cakes, I knew who you were talking about. Oh, that. Um, he is in heaven now. Um, God rest his soul. He was a sweet man at our church. He was one of the deacons at our old church. And oh my gosh, I just thought about it. Uh, you would never in your life taste a tea cake like that. You want me to make some tea cakes tonight? You want me to make some tea cakes tonight? You want me to? You want me to? If you want me to. Hey, you want me to? Okay, I'll make some. How about make some tea cakes? He goes, he trying to compete with Bro Jerry, y'all. He trying to be. I ain't trying to compete. He trying to compete. It's clearly a competition. I don't know what I'm going up against. And I never met the he, guy. Oh my gosh. Because you, you, because we got together way after King Solomon. But oh my, when I tell you them things was heaven, and he'll have them fresh and he leave them in a the cart, you know, down south, it's hot, and it was normally like around summertime-ish, is when he would have, we well, had them all the time. But when he left, like, it, it, it just tastes like they were fresh out the oven. Like, oh, y'all, y'all just don't know. Them tea cakes, I, oh, those tea cakes were so good. They were so good. Do y'all even know what a tea cake is? Y'all, I'm going to put a little comment. Have you ever had a tea cake before? That's going to be my question for this video. <sighs> Some things. Get it. Take your cup of milk. Back in the day, I used to drink milk. But the only time I get milk now is like in a cake or something. But I drink and, um, almond milk. And I have almond milk on my cereal. So I don't really drink drink milk or whatnot. He's the milk baby right here. But y'all, oh my God, let me stop, let me stop. Okay, anyway, them tea cakes was good. But anyway, so I have purchased a hot dog. <laughs> so how did we get off of this yeah. from a hot dog? Yeah, I have purchased a hot dog before, but I think, because they, I think those hot dogs used to be like 50 cents or a dollar back in the day, y'all. You know, but I think I used to use my lunch money and some, my um allowance money, and my mom would buy me some sometimes. But not all the time, but them little hot dogs used to be good, though. But anyway, 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 so I have, that was the whole point of that was I have bought a hot dog. Have you ever I, gotten a hot dog from my uh, racetrack or anything? The race. little roller grill hot dog? I've gotten them before, I just don't know. You know, did I? I think I have had one. No, you got the I've hot dogs. I always get, get the nachos. nachos yeah, I, I didn't would, know if you had ever gotten them. I think I probably ate a bite of one of yours, but I don't think I've ever. Okay, bought. we're going to Wiener Schnitzel sometimes. So. He trying to get me to buy a hot dog, yeah. I'm going to make it happen. No, I can cook my own hot dog. But anyway, long story short, my answer is hamburger out of the choice. Honey, read us a comment because I'm going to just keep on flapping. Mm, that's what you do. He's so cute when you do it. Mm. This comment comes from Tammy Baker. Tammy Baker. I like both, but I pick hamburger. Yeah. Oh. All right, thank you, Tammy Baker, for your comment. And the winner was hamburger with 78%. I'm pretty sure other people feel the same when I, way I do. Nowadays, the prices of stuff, but back in the day, it probably wasn't as expensive. That's when I used to buy it, you know, from church or whatnot. But now, nobody about to pay no three, four dollars for no hot dog, okay? But if you okay? get one all tricked out, you know, you get the see, onions I, uh, uh, and all see, that uh, stuff. Uh, see, he liked, the, he liked that relish and onion and all that. Yeah, get it tricked out. No, don't nobody want all that. That's People do want all that. I no. want all that. Twenty-two percent wanted it. Anyway, I'm guessing you was no, one. Twi no, twenty-two percent prefer a hot dog over, over a hamburger, hamburger. But I'm sure everybody likes them both. All right, yeah. All Probably right. Not everybody, but most. <laughs> the next one was popcorn or cotton candy. This was an easy one for me. Popcorn. I am a popcorn junkie. Mm -hmm. You guys, I'm gonna be making my own popcorn now. I found popcorn poppers for the microwave. I got a bowl and this cute little jug that I got from Walmart. So instead of buying my Orbital Redenbacher, the little popcorn bag, I'm not buying that anymore. So that's gonna be less wasteful. And I'm gonna be popping my own popcorn in my little cute little thing. I popped some yesterday, it was so good. And I got this cheese jalapeno little sprinkle stuff that's like three calories 
per like I don't know I think it was like half a teaspoon or something I don't know and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on that and that's gonna also help cut down on the sodium because I'm not gonna put any salt on it and it's gonna I already had some and it was delicious so I do buy the Orba Redenbacher the unpopped corn to put in there but I'm so excited that's gonna be less wasteful I am continuing to try to find a way to not to lessen our footprint on like waste and stuff so i don't know like this is like ladies talk do you, any of you ladies use <laughs> panty shields i know like it's like a everyday thing like okay you guys tmi you know we all have our genitalia down there and you know it it had it, it it has natural like um um emissions no like natural loose oh yeah so ladies talking what's that called like the natural um what's that natural like say it naturally stuff comes out of it you know what i'm saying and i don't i don't like that brown stuff on my drawers y'all so i used to <laughs> i know y'all gonna be like what <laughs> What I'm trying to say is, I used to buy the disposable panty shields. You guys, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, because obviously I'm the only one in my family that use panty shields. Everybody else don't mind the brown on their drawers. I don't like it on my drawers. So I don't know, some people, I'm guessing, I'm going too far. I'm sorry, y'all. Some people may not have this issue. I know thinner people don't really have any, um, oh, it's, a, it's, it's a word for it. Yeah, like what's that? <laughs> like secretions. secretions? I don't know, maybe whatever. But it, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I bought um reusable panty shields. Long story short, I'm gonna have to show it to y'all. It's like a little panty shield and it, it snaps. I got them off of eBay, y'all. So long story short, I'm not gonna be using the, the throwaway panty shields anymore and that's also less trash because you guys know how my babies use their cloth diapers so i have my cloth panty shields now and i'm so excited i love them so much and i have a little baggie i put them in there and i wash them and then i have them fresh for next week without wasting and i'll be throwing away less trash right honey i don't know french can is pretty full in there this week What's in there? It's something that got thrown away. You realize you've completely derailed this video. It, you I, probably had about 70% of the people who are watching to say, okay, I can't go with this anymore. Click. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to get back on track. If what, you're still I here at this point, consider yourself a true champion. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I just wanted to like, I, I've just been like kind of on a journey of trying to lessen the throwaways to to help the planet. And, and you, you realize to start off a tangent between popcorn and cotton candy, right? <laughs> oh, the bags. Cause I'll say I'm not gonna be throwing away the bags anymore. And that's how I got onto the recycling. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I choose popcorn. I love popcorn. I'm gonna be making my own. Not gonna be buying the box and the little poppable bags anymore. So read us a comment, honey. To those that are so still here. So sorry for going off on that tangent, guys. To the my, two of you who are still watching. <laughs> my my subscribers uh, age range is 25 to 50 something. So y'all and, and majority ladies. So that y'all know where I'm coming from, right? Does anybody use panty shields? Am I the only one? Okay. I certainly don't. He doesn't. But I use panty shields. My family don't use them. And I was just like completely floored that they don't use panty shields. But anyway, let, let's 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 get off of that subject. I'm sorry. Um TMI, sorry, keep going. We're gonna go with brown sugar curtis. I choose popcorn. Not a fan of cotton candy. Who needs empty calories? Correct, I agree. Um I have I I can't tell you last time I had some cotton candy. I can't even tell you last time I've had some cotton candy. It's somewhere in the head cotton candy. It's like a store in the head. They like set up and they'll just give you a little seed. Give me a... 
I don't remember, but like, I like cotton ago. candy, but that is just kind of empty calories. Like, I've had it, like the last time we went to like the fair, I got some cotton candy, I think I remember. So long. And that was so long, that was years ago. And I had also, that was the last time I had a funnel cake. It tastes so nasty, it was not good at all. It just tastes like old grease. Like, I'm like, could y'all change the oil out? It was disgusting. But anyway, so, who was that? Brown sugar Curtis. Thank you, Brown Sugar Curtis, for your comment. And the winner was popcorn with 78%. Next was Swiss or cheddar. I would definitely go cheddar. Um, I'm not a cheese person. I eat like cheese, like America. Normally, the time where I go to Subway and ask for the cheese, like I get the American, the white, the little white cheese. Or I like mozzarella on pizza. The little sticks. Oh yeah, and mozzarella sticks. I love that too. Um, and also, I do like cheese on my hamburger, taco, that type of stuff. But just to, he can just sit and have a plate of gourmet cheeses and just eat it plain. That's one thing I do not do. I'm not gonna just eat plain cheese. It's got to be fried, warm, some kind of, or something like that. You know. But yeah. Comment, please. Do you have any? We have a comment from Mary O again. Mary O! Who is a woman after my own heart. I am a cheese fanatic, so I like both. But I've got to go with cheddar. Sharp cheddar, to be exact. He, he likes sharp cheddar, too. What's your favorite kind of cheese, honey? Sharp cheddar. Is it really? Mm. What's that monster? Didn't you, you used to like monster? You used to be I that a lot. I make all of them. But I like monster. I like provolone. I've sharp eaten cheddar, a, monster. I've eaten a monster before. But like I said, on a sandwich or something. But just by itself, my mom used to take cheese, the little craft cheese slice, and put them on vanilla wafers. That was her little treat to herself: cheese and <laughs> vanilla wafers. It was so hilarious. Like the little jacks. She she had to have the jacks. The jacks vanilla wafers. That's the only kind she would eat. Um, the winner was cheddar with seventy four percent. Next was maple syrup or honey. I like both of them. Now, if you're talking about pancakes, yeah, definitely maple syrup. Um, if you're talking about biscuit, honey. Okay. Um, and also, if you're talking about grandma's old school pancakes and that cast iron um, skillet, <laughs> it's molasses all the way. And that's that whatever that stuff was in that yellow can. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Wasn't it molasses? Was that was that called molasses? That stuff in that yellow can? Steam's pure cane sugar. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what it was? Oh, so it wasn't molasses? I thought it was called molasses. It was something grandma had in this yellow can, y'all. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's steams you're talking about. Steams. Well, whatever it was. That was so delicious. Yeah, pure cane syrup. Yeah, this, y'all. Y'all, if y'all haven't lived, if you ain't had that, I don't know if that's just a southern thing, but you ain't lived until you had that. I thought it was called, I thought grandma had called that molasses. Mm, but it was thick as molasses. It, it was thick like molasses, though. That, ooh, talk about, ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't know, molasses comes in the yellow thing, too. No, it wasn't it. That wasn't it. It was definitely that. It was definitely that first thing you showed me. So, um,. Let's get a. Do we have any comments on that one? Yeah, we got a couple. I'm gonna read two comments. We got Pickle and Tea's Captive Hearts, which just says honey. All right, Pickle and Tea. Asha, is that you? Let me see. Pickle and Tea. Yeah, I think that is Asha. Hey, Asha again. <laughs> and I'm gonna go with Mary O again, who says, I'm conflicted. LOL. Most likely maple syrup is readily available for waffles and pancakes, but honestly, I could do honey instead. It works for breakfast food and tea, so mm -hmm. I voted honey. Yeah, I like both. Like, it depends on what you're talking about. I'm all about some honey on my biscuits, and I'm all about, like, the syrup. Because I've never had honey on my pancakes. I've never done that. Now, that's a biscuit thing for me. Um, but pancakes, yeah, so it... it, it it, it was kind of a toss. I like both. I don't really eat pancakes and stuff that much. Uh, you know, or waffles. You know, because he's more the breakfast person. So I figured what I would use more often would be the honey for biscuits. But I don't really eat biscuits often either. So 
I really don't know. I really can't answer that one, y'all. I, I guess I'll just go with syrup. I mean, but I but I like honey too, so I don't know. Eh, I don't know, I don't know, y'all. So, and maple syrup one was 62%. And the question from today was spaghetti or lasagna? I like spaghetti. I would have to go spaghetti over lasagna for me. Like some old, like some nice Italian spaghetti and meatballs. Cause that, that do be good. But like some old school spaghetti and meatballs that I would prefer that over lasagna. Let's get a comment. Pretty sure it's gonna be from Cedric cause we ain't got no comments on it yet. But the winner was so far, cause I only got like 12 votes, was 57% spaghetti. From Cedric Hober, I love lasagna, the layers, and the cheese. Yum. Fat cat. No. What was his name? Don't say it, don't say it. The orange oh. cat. Um, I said, oh, he flipped. That ain't right. That's the orange cat. Um, I know the What one. is his name? Y'all, what's that fat cat that love lasagna? Oh my gosh! With the little, with the little man, I used to look man. Garfield, Garfield, the little fat cat that loves lasagna. How hilarious! Yeah, the man had the same name as our step instructor. Had a dog. What was the dog's name? Odie. Odie, yeah. Oh, good cartoons. I used to like Garfield. That was a cute cartoon. All right, guys, and for tomorrow. The question will be purple or green grapes? Which one do you like, purple or green grapes? All right, so that is it for pick one, you guys. So we're gonna have a quick intermission and we're gonna get set up for our giveaway winner. Dun, 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 <laughs> All right, guys. So I have the bottle here. Hubby's gonna hold the bottle for me. Here, hold. All right. Like I told you guys, I had seven entries, and I have numbers one through seven here. And I'm gonna cut that. But before I do, I'm gonna show you everybody that entered. All right. I'm gonna read them first, then show you guys. Sheila's Angels, Melissa S. Kelly, a mom, a wife life. Lee Cecile. Lee Cecile. Cecil. Cecil. Lee Cecile or Cecil. 38 Flowers, Sweet Love for Reborns, Chiquita McGowan, and Whimsy Fox Nursery. So, everybody has a number assigned to their name there, as you can see. So, I'm going to quickly. Cut the numbers. And show them to you guys as I put them in. And we're gonna see who won the super, oh, I never showed you guys the prize. Oh, I'll show you guys. Well, the put ladies. The, put the thing in. Put the and then in, I'll show and it. I'll shake it up while you're showing it. All right. Come on, piece of thing. All right, come on, come on, let's go. All right, there we go. All right, scrub it up. All right. Number one. Fold, fold, and fold. Bring it up so you got to see. All right, going in. You don't have to hold it the whole time. Number two. Fold, fold, fold. Go, uh oh. Mm -hmm. I missed it. There it is. Going in. Mm -hmm. Number three. You guys can see all of your numbers are going in there. Fold. Fold. And fold. Mm -hmm. Number four. Fold. Fold. And fold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so silly. Number five, fold, 
fold and fold. Mm. Mm. Number six. If you guys don't know by now, you you know that we're we're weirdos. So. Yeah. No, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> what was that? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever watch Saturday Saturday Night Live? The skit with the um, what, what what's up with that? Ooh wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Uh. Anyway, if you guys ever seen that skit, that's what we laughed at. And oh. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> all right, so they're all folded. All right. And it go. Hubby's gonna top it. All right. Shake. Hickory shake. All right, and this was the prize. I showed it at the end of our last video. I went back to Burlington's and found another one of the super cute blankets. It's so soft with the jack-o'-lanterns, the bats, candy corn, ghosts, little witch hats, spiders on there. So cute. When you wash it, like it's soft now, but when you wash it, it's even softer. It's got the little sharpa on this side. And the side with the um, with all the little characters on it is the, the background is a light gray. It's so I love it. I love it so much. So I went and got one for one of you lucky ladies that's up about to win it. All right. So let me fold it. And you have 24 hours to contact me with your address so that I can get it shipped out to you. All righty then. All right, ready to pick. All right, open it up, and I'm gonna reach in and grab a number. All right, turn my head. I got one. All right, let's see. H. So 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 H. Number four. So let's see who was number four. Dun, 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 dun. Number four was Lee Cecile or Sicily. No, Cecil. Cecil. Lee Cecile. Wait, am I saying Cecil? Cecil. What was the other word though? Cecile. Cecile. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Lee Cecile. You. <laughs> you. Number four. Lee Cecile or Cecil. You are the winner of this awesome Halloween blanket. Please email me. I'm going to flash it on the screen. Rebornlove underscore 3112 at yahoo.com. Um, send me your address and I will ship off this super cute blanket to you. All right. That's it. We have our sweet little Elijah here. Hubby's holding him. And... Congratulations to our winner, Lee. I hope you guys have fun with this giveaway. It was so fun for us. Hope you enjoyed the pick one. Sorry I went a little rogue on some TMI situations there, but I just feel strongly about it, you know, and sometimes I just start blabbing and just can't help myself. But that's it. Uh, contact me. You got uh, 48 hours. I think I said 24, but two days to contact me with your address so I can ship off your prize. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Mwah! Peace. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Get out of here.